up everybody we're about to play do i'm going to do a playthrough of dragon ball z boo's fury so let's get started and it gives you a little recap of the first one or the uh, second one i'm sorry i didn't get a chance to play the second one because i think if you watched uh my uh legacy of goku for the first one at the end, I kind of explained that that the website I'm playing these games on uh, will, won't let me play the second one for some reason. I don't know if it's because of the side or if it's because of my uh, computer. So I really don't know. All I know is it just won't let me play it. So so I had to skip the second one, which is actually my favorite. So that was kind of unfortunate. And I had to jump right to the third one. So. So, but this one's good too. It's a lot better than the first one. The first one's good, but it just has a lot of qualities about it that's just not exactly the best Dragon Ball Z game ever. So, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> this one's definitely a lot better than that one. Alright. So for some whatever reason, they decided the Webfoot uh, Technologies decided to call this game uh, Boo's Fury instead of uh, Legacy of Goku 3. I'm not too sure why they chose that title. I guess because Goku's not necessarily always in the game. But then again, even in the second one, he's not always in the game. So not too sure why they... I guess they just, just decided it was a better title. I don't know. So I think it kind of confused a lot of people when this game came out. They didn't realize it was actually a sequel to Legacy of Goku 2. So, so this game actually didn't get quite as popular as the uh, second one did. So, But it was still a pretty popular game. So we got to make our way over to, I think this is King Kai explaining to Goku that there's a, another planet above there to where they hold martial arts tournaments and stuff. So Goku's getting like all excited about that. So Alright, you can stop talking anytime now. I try to leave these up for a few, couple seconds for y'all that may want to read them. But I also don't want to take too long because then it would make my recordings like super long. Okay. So. Yeah, I love in the second and third one that they let you... Oh, my screen's kind of glitching out a little bit. I love in the second and third one that they let you uh, do uh, running. Unlike in the first one, you have to like constantly try to increase your speed throughout the game. And even then, even if you increase your speed like to the highest it can possibly get... It's still extremely slow compared to this, the second and third one. So, in this uh, video, oh, this uh, playthrough, I decided to just go ahead and cut the sound completely because I kind of thought that when I went back and watched the uh, playthrough of Legacy of Goku, the first one. I thought those sound effects in there were a little bit annoying because they were kind of loud. Um, I turned the uh, music off because it gets kind of glitchy on this website and it makes it a little annoying. But I left the sound effects on because I thought those were okay. But like I said, when I went back and watched them, they were... Um, they just... they I think they came across as a little annoying. So I decided to go ahead and cut the sound off completely So in this playthrough. So we'll see how, if that comes out a little better. I think this is the wrong plane. Yeah, this is the plane to heaven, I believe. So we need to go to this plane. Yeah, this is the higher plane. Funnily enough, even though uh, I like Legacy of Goku 2 a lot better, I actually played this one uh, through a lot more than all three of them. Because this game is, even though it's actually the longest game, 
it's actually the easiest because it's so they make it extremely easy to train in this game. And unlike the first, the second one's a little easier than the first one is. That's the only thing that really makes the first one that challenging, like I said in the series before, uh, is the, actually the training. You actually have to find those good key point, key spots of the game where you can actually train decently. But in the second one, there's a lot more easier spots to train. But in this one, it's like even twice, it's even like three times as easier to train than it is in the first and second one. So that's what makes this one like so easy. The hardest part of this game, if I remember correctly, is actually where you have to go find the Dragon Balls. That's like the hardest part. So, anyways, let's see. Okay, so now we gotta go around and start meeting people. That's always a fun part of the game where you just go talk, right? You don't get to actually do any fighting just yet. And I've noticed. Uh, with less sound effects it actually allows me to do a little bit more commentary because I noticed in the first one my commentary I didn't talk very much because I think the sound effects were actually distracting me a little bit so this one actually helps me a lot better to think of uh, you know to do better commentary so oh that's so impressive 5 million push-ups okay so you just talk to Um, I don't remember. Oh, okay, it's press R. Of course, it's not going to be the same on the computer. I'll have to figure out what button it is. Let me, hold on, let me check. Okay, it'll be this one. And I think there's a way you can actually completely make yourself, and yeah, invincible, yep. So that'll be blocked. So that'll come in handy. That's another thing that makes this game a lot easier is, they let you actually block, and you don't actually have to... Yeah, I already learned how to become invincible. I don't need your help. They actually let you block in this one, so... And the second one, you had to, like, just... First and second one, you had to just kind of run away when they were coming close to you. Even though the second one was a little easier, because when you hit your enemies, they actually would fly back, like their your punches were actually doing something. Like, in, not unlike the, the, uh... The, uh first one because the first one they would just like stand there like it wasn't even bothering them but the problem with that is is like they could constantly be hitting you back as you were hitting them so it's kind of like it was really hard so you have to just like blast them all the time luckily they didn't let your blast run out because that would have made the game like super duper hard if they would have done that but enough about the first one let's get back on the subject of the third one Okay, so, uh, let's see, I already talked to them, what the heck? Um, I'm confused, did I miss somebody? I talked to the invincible guy. Oh, okay. Now I'm ready. I guess I just forgot to talk to that guy. Alright, here we go. So this is the fun part. I guess I can actually punch them. It's a little hard to do this on the computer, so you'll have to just kind of bear with me. I know my gameplay won't look very good at first. I'll get used to it after a while. It's just, I'm not used to doing this on the computer. I'm used to holding that. Game Boy while doing this. So. Different type of controls can make a huge difference in a game. So. Oh, I also love in this one where they actually let you choose where your stat points can go. And like in the second one, they they don't do that. So, But at least in the second one, they give you some stat points. In the first one, they don't give you nothing. It's like your level's going up, but it's like, am I really getting stronger? I don't know. <laughs> Come on. Like I said, my gameplay won't be that great. Uh, it'll take me a little bit to get used to it. Hopefully by the, the first or second video I can kind of figure it out. Oh, and this one, they also let you put 
uh, wear certain items uh, that will help your strength and stuff, kind of like an RPG, a typical RPG game. So, but yeah. Okay, so now we gotta fight him. He doesn't seem to be too tough. Either that, or I'm just happen to get a good round of punches and kicks here. So now he's gonna leave you in here, but if I remember correctly, I don't think I'm strong enough. Yeah, I'm not. I gotta like level up. So let's. Do some more training. Luckily, I'm not too far away from it. And these guys actually give you quite a bit of experience, and they're not that hard, actually. Oh. Actually, one more walk through here. I actually think I might get it. I think... And this one, they all, you can also pick up, uh, instead of, like in the second one, they dropped like I, like food items that would help you uh, get your, which this one does that too, but you kind of had to just pick it up and use it right away, or it was basically just useless, and hope that you just, but in this one, you can actually pick up your item and save it uh, for when you need it. So, the only problem with that is, uh, the flaw with this one on that one is, is uh, they give you stronger and stronger food items as the game goes on. So that means that all those early items that you collected later on down the game, they kind of almost become pointless because if you sell them for money, you don't really get that much for it. And if you use them, you're not going to get that much strength. So if you're one of those people that don't really need to uh, use them, um, if you don't really use them that often, then later on in the game you're going to have like tons of food in your inventory uh, and it, you're, it's going to just like become useless practically. I think this is where... Yeah, let's see. Boom! I think after this part I'll go ahead and stop the first video. I don't want it to be too long. I think in that last uh, playthrough I did, I had some videos that were like 15 minutes long, but this one, I don't know, these I might have to make a little bit longer because the game's longer, so. Okay. So now we're going to go back up to the front and meet Pycon and some of the other Kai's from the north, uh, the northeast and west. So, I'm sorry. Uh, King Kai is actually the north Kai. It's the west, the south, and the uh, east Kai are the other ones. I love that they call it home for infinite losers. Yeah, in this game they kind of skip the whole fight between Frieza and Cell, like they did, unlike they did on the show. I kind of wish they would have let you do the fight. I think they just that was probably just a laziness factor that they would just rather you just skip that part, but. It would have been kind of cool to do a recap of fighting Frieza and Cell again. So so I kind of wish they would have let you do that. But then again, in the show, Goku doesn't really get to do any fighting. It's mostly just straight up Pycon just kind of takes over the whole scene. So I guess in a way it would have been less like the show anyway if they would have let you do a lot of fighting. Like I said, if I'm... Clicking these words too fast for y'all, y'all might just have to pause the video because I don't want to leave them up too long because uh, because it will make the videos way too long. So hopefully you are fast readers, or you, like I said, y'all have to just um, skip ahead. So. I guess we'll go ahead and stop here uh, and we'll see how long this video is because I don't want to jump all the way into the world tournament because it would take too long and make my video extremely, extremely long. But uh, yeah, so 
we'll stop here and I will see you in the next video.